Hey guys, yeah, I'm here off Rowan Circle. This is in East Mesa, like right off the 202, and I just cannot believe what we found when we pulled up here onto this scene. I'm so, uh, you know, glad that Teresa Williams, the homeowner, is okay. Teresa, behind us here, your AC unit, unfortunately, blew off of your roof last night. Yes, it did. Walk me through what you heard, what okay. you saw, everything that went down. I was on the phone with my daughter, and because she lives in the area, and I kind of wanted to warn her that, you know, the winds were high, the storm was blowing, you know, take cover. And then um, I all of a sudden heard out of the, like the ceiling of the hallway, well, I heard an explosion and then water is gushing in, in my hallway. So I'm, you know, grabbing buckets and trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, my husband's like, I think the AC just blew off the house. My um, goodness so, gracious. Yes. So not only, unfortunately, did that AC unit, which was fairly new, two years old, yes. Teresa tells me, you have a brand new vehicle. Two brand new vehicles. Two brand new vehicles, two brand new vehicles have been oh. completely totaled, oh my basically. Goodness. Yes. When you see this damage, the air conditioning unit in the driveway, the pickup truck that's brand new, unfortunately damaged, yes. the windshield of the gorgeous SUV, right? uh, you know, you have such a great attitude about all this. How are you, you managing? to keep well, a smile on your fortunately, face. Fortunately, we have great neighbors that just immediately came over to assist to see what they can do to help um, and friends. You know, we have a good community here and they're, you know, very caring and, you know, offered whatever, you know, my boss offered. Can we, you know, if we could stay in their house? Because obviously our AC's out. We have no AC. Yeah. Thank goodness, you know, the, the temps have cooled down a bit. You mentioned you have an 85-year-old yes, mother. my mother, my 85-year-old mother. So we can't, it's not like we can easily go to a hotel, you know. So we're, we're just going to, we have a lot of mess to clean up. Well, ironically, Teresa, you work for a roofing company. Yes, so do. that is a good connection <laughs> to <not> have. <laughs> That's right. Um, so hopefully, you know, now the cleanup process, pickup process, begins. My photographer, Chris, showing you all the damage. We certainly are wishing Teresa and other homeowners who are waking up in the valley all the best this morning as they continue to pick up the pieces. Now, Gib, it looks like you're taking a break out there. Well, you know, Simone, for the last 40 years, this tree probably created the best place to take a